Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So we have learned the topics like host, host context and uh, these two topics we have learned about the pseudo selectors. Apart from this one, we have an another one normally which is deprecated in Angular 16 in the, in the latest Angular, it is deprecated but still it is there. I, I will discuss you with this one who are following prior to the Angular 16 and all those things. So they can have this one. So for example, if you search in Angular Okay, Angular component styles or something like this. If you search in Angular, so here you will be able to see the component styles, right? So this is the component styles which we are trying to discuss. So here we have learned about the component styling best practices like view encapsulation I have shown you, like emulated, shadow DOM and also none. So we have seen it. So this includes ng deep, okay, which promotes a component style to a global style. So this one also, will, now we will discuss about this ng deep. Now these are all the different types which we want to discuss. So there are some special selectors which we are having. First one is the host. So we have a clear understanding about this host. And the next one we have learned about is the host context. So like this I am going face by face. So host context we have learned it. So host context tag 2 like this if you want to have you can have it. And the another one which is deprecated. So that means right now so it is not recommended to use it. But if you are using a prior angler and all those things you can use it. So slash deep greater than greater get uh, so three greater than symbols and also an ng deep. So these three are one and the same only. These are all called as an aliases. So if you use anything is one and the same only. So this is the uh, this one we need to learn about this. We will learn about this ng deep thing. Okay. So what is this ng deep? So when we we can use this ng deep here. So the deep thing. So component styles. If you try if you try to see about the component styles. The component styles will be applied only to the HTML that are present in its own template. For example, if you say this is our course component.css, right? Whatever the CSS we are trying to write in this CSS file, it will be applied only to the HTML that is present in its own component. That is nothing but course component.html. So the HTML, whatever the HTML you are able to see here, the CSS, whatever you are trying to write it, it will apply only to that HTML only. That is one thing. Now, what I want to tell you is the so for example, let's say that if I want to apply, uh, I will show you the real time example, then you will try to understand it. For example, let's say that I am creating a new component other. Let us create it other in our components only. I will be creating a new component. So, if you create this new component, let it create, it will take some time. So, for example, let's say that you are having this app component on HTML, right? Where is this app component HTML? In this app component.html, app course is present. So, which is a uh, child for this app component. So, okay, child component. This one is an app course, is a child component. And in this app course, let's assume that we are having this other component also. So, we are trying to create it. Let it create. So, here the other component has been created. Now, let's say that this other component, this is our component, right? Let's say every course has an author. You know that every course will be having an author, right? Here we are having only one author that is Leela Webdev. So let's say that we are having an author. Author, I will write it here. Author, Leela Webdev. Okay, so I am creating an author here. Now if I want to use for every course, so this is our each and every course, right? Here I will try to use the author name. So app hyphen author. So we have used this app hyphen author. Now if you try to see the output here, so we will be able to see the author Leela Webdo channel, Leela Webdo channel, and the author is the Leela Webdo. We are able to see. So fine, it's we are working well and fine. Now what I want to do is I want to apply styles to this one. Normally, what you will try to do here? Okay, fine. Let's go into this one other component.html and in this other component.css, I will take the div and I will apply color of yellow. Okay, I can apply the color of yellow here. Now if you see the output here, so we will be able to see the output color of yellow. Now what I want to tell what I want to tell is so here for example, let's say that if you want to apply it through the parent, so parent means here let's say that uh, component course.html or otherwise app component.html. Let's assume so you can take it anything whichever you want. So if you want to take it with the course component.html or course component.css, where is this one? Yeah. If you want to apply it here through here from here means then what we can do from here you cannot search with the div, right? So you cannot search with the div or otherwise take the host and inside the div uh, 
uh, apply a color of red, uh, color of yellow you cannot apply this one color of yellow you cannot apply this one why because this style is coped to this one only so this one you cannot apply it why because so here if you try to see here the styles and css so you will be having for that one a special character so in the head if you try to see not special character the attribute name it will be attached so here you'll be able to see ng host and also div of like this you'll be able to see so this one will not be valid now if you want to apply the css for that in internal child elements from the parent element means then you need to use the ngdp here so here you can write it with an ngd ngd okay if you write it like this then this is valid now you can able to see that the yellow color has been applied so here if you try to see here so this one will be applied ng host inside that one div so like this we will be using and not only with this one so you can also apply like slash deep also you can use it so both all are one and the same only so slash deep slash like this or otherwise you can also use the greater than greater than greater than symbol three greater than symbols also you'll be able to see and that one also you'll apply one and the same only the output will be one and the same so this is about the ng deep thing applying the ng deep pseudo class to any css role completely disables the view encapsulation for that role so here if you are applying ng deep for any css rule means it will remove the view encapsulation so that means view encapsulation if it is removed means for this div you will not able to see any attaching attribute so that is the reason for the div you will not able to see any attached attribute so like uh, square bracket you will be able to see it right that is not applied any style with ng deep applied will become a global style right so it will become a global style in order to scope the specific specified style to the current component and all its descendant so it's make sure to include the host selector before ng deep so why i am trying to use this one is for example if you try to use this like this greater than greater than div like this if you are trying to use it for example let's say that uh, we are having content one or something like that right content one inside the content one like this you are able to see it. so we are having something like this so if you try to if you want to do it like this if you try to see here now here if you want to apply so it will be applied in a such a way that in the content one like that it will be applied so this one will become the global style okay this becomes the global style so that is the reason they are saying that make sure to apply with the host before ngdeep if the ngdeep combinator is used without the host pseudo selector means that style can bleed into the other components that is what that is what i want to tell you so that is the reason we need to use we along with the host thing okay and another thing what i what i want to tell you is the so this is the this is the thing so the, the deep combinator has the three aliases i already told you three greater than symbols and also an ng deep so deep greater than an ng deep only with the emulated view and only it is used only with the emulated view encapsulation and the emulated is the default one and the most commonly used the view encapsulation the shadow piercing descend, uh, descendant combinator is deprecated so this one is this deprecated and the support will be removed from the major browsers and tools as we such a such we plan to drop support in angular until then ng deep should be preferred for a broader compatibility with the tools so that is the reason the angular has given us explanation so this is what i want to tell you now if if this ng deep is deprecated means then what we need to use it since the support is dropped we can use it in the global styles and all those things fine so hope you understood about this ng deep and all those things so what i will try to do is i will commit this all the code this one so why i am trying to tell you this one is so in order to have a understanding about the deep thing so so many people are using the deep and all those things right without knowing so that for that reason i will be telling you now you are able to understand about the ng deep so ng deep selector so for the child elements if you want to apply a css so you can use this ng deep selector so i am committing this code and whoever maybe have <coughs> whoever maybe having having the doubts in this code and all those things so they can go to my github repository url github.com slash angular animations you can able to see it so all the code all the reference code and all the things will be pasted here so whatever the video i am trying to explain you you can be able to see it, this one so this is all about the ngd if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you